Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson, and I'm an abstract artist, and if you're new to my channel, I try to share my tools and techniques and paintings that I do as an artist and a little bit of my journey. And this is a just a palette full of some of my favorite tools. And I'm going to go through some of them in a secret that I use to help me when I'm making my abstract paintings. But these tools are the epicenter of my abstract paintings. Without tools, without things that are unusual, and things I love sheet, which I've talked about in other videos, my paintings just would be blah and boring. These are the things that make up my art and my paintings. So I wanted to share a short video and kind of just go over the technique I use and show you some of the tools that I have in my arsenal. This is just a short video to show you some of the tools I use. And the important thing is, is I have all my tools, all my main tools right here on one stand, right beside the easel where I paint. And this first bucket of tools is all my scrapers, my catalysts, uh, markers that have like teeth on them. I get them from all sorts of paint stores. I get them online, um, the One Catalyst, they're kind of expensive, but they're great. That's just something from the hardware department. Uh, that is an actual Catalyst. Um, it's one of the more expensive ones. But each of these tools you can get from Amazon, you can get from Goodwill, you can get from the hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that. This is my bucket of palette knives of different types. The reason why I have so many is because I did at one time have an outside um, studio, so I had double. But I, they're different styles, different ones, different edging on them. Some are large, some are small, some have a pointed end. Um, that just kind of got stuck in there, but they each have um some some of them are the same that one has like a scallop edge then this bin is quite a large it is like the mother load of my my bins there the tools that are in here again come from all different places plumbing store hardware store um a lot of them are somewhat the same there's a squeegee that i use to move paint around some of these are handmade and I'll show you. There's a large bubble wrap that I use. Um, <clears throat> there's a small piece there, small bubble wrap that I use. There is, that's like an egg turner, um, but it also moves the paint really well, especially on uh, some of the flow art. That's just a, like a paper towel holder that is one tool that smooths the paint a lot of times that gives you a really good effect that's a handmade tool and there is a whole video on on um, tools and that's in there but that's made with neo neophrobe i think you call it there's a paper towel holder with rubber bands around it and that gives a very unique look there is um, some more of those. I use this a lot. Those, those teeth where I do like a circular spiral is in a lot of my paintings. That's just a stick. Sticks are great. Another spatula that kind of got put in there. Then um, out of my spatula bin. That's just, um, I don't know what that's from, but I think I have that in my Amazon store, but that's thicker. You can do lines with that, use that to draw lines. This you use to paint your walls, and I haven't opened that yet. I've had that for a while that has a sponge on it. Not quite sure where I got this one, but it has like um, metal teeth, kind of sharp metal teeth on there. 
There is a stick where I put a uh, foam brush on it to um, give me some more flexibility at a distance. And there's a whole nother bin there of some of the same things. I keep all my thicker body paints here. A lot of my brushes, you see I have a lot of different types of brushes. There's my plein air brushes way up there on the top. Those are really long. Can't find them anymore. There's some more um, tools. One is like a um, silicone um, at the top that makes a lot of fun marks. And even when my brushes get too hard, I keep them because they make great tools for marking. There's some spatulas I use, the spoons where you can pour paint on your canvas or just use it to maneuver paint around. Another stick up there. There's uh, some um, art art crayons. Uh, there's my water bottles, alcohol bottles. Um, but I keep this whole stand full of my mark making tools so that it's easy to get.